welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. And I'm Tony Green. So today, 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 today. So today I am going to be taking callers from my call log and answering questions. Most of my callers, I think, think are also listening on YouTube. I love that. That's awesome. So um, when I call your area code, please let me know just your first name and your area that you're calling from. <laughs> it's going to be one of those shows, you guys. <laughs> it is. It just is. And then um, have an exact question or an exact connection to the other side that you would like to connect with. If you do have a question you would like to ask, please make sure that you have pushed number one on your keypad so that um, your hand is up on my call log because if you don't push that button, it just looks like you want to listen on on the phone. Okay. So I want to thank everybody listening in on YouTube and saying hi to me. So we have Genevieve, Heather, Sal, Sita. Hi, Sita. Um, and Fawn, Lolly, and of course, Mimi, who takes so much of her personal precious time to, um, to timestamp all of the clearings. Breezy Ray. Hey, Ray with Sabrina. Hi, you guys. How are you? Um, okay. Couple of quick little things here. I am going to, on Wednesday, I'll be back with a show. I'm so sorry I didn't make last Wednesday's show, but on Wednesday, I'll be back with my show at noon, but then Wednesday evening, and I'm never on during the evening. But Wednesday evening, I'm going to be a guest on the Peter G show. So um, all of the links to that show are on all of my social media, uh, Facebook and Instagram and um Facebook and Instagram for now. We'll get back to the rest later. Yep. It's going to be one of those shows. My mind is not working as fast as whatever else would be. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Um, okay. I'm going to start. I'm just going to go straight in. There's so much I wanted to say at like I don't even know what time in the morning songs were popping in my head. I'm like, I need to remember this. I need to remember this. They were songs I didn't even know. And um, I thought I need to remember this for the show because I know they had something to do with the show. Like I, one of them was so specific and I didn't know the song, but every word was coming to me. And I thought this has to be for somebody on the show. And then I woke up and. The, I, I apologize. The songs are gone. I apologize. But I'm going to go to the very first caller, who is caller um, 415. 415, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Kate. And let me turn up the volume here. And where are you calling from, love? Uh, I'm calling from New Mexico. Oh, excellent. Excellent. And how can I help you today? I um, just moved here and I've been so sleepy and I don't know if I'm just relaxing finally or, you know, adjusting to high altitude or is there anything uh, that you get about um, getting my energy back or what's okay. going on? So I, I just, I do want to say that everybody has been super sleepy, not to take that away from you, but it is going around a bit. And second, um, yes, uh, there's been a lot going on and you're finally just like kind of in a space where you are, let me breathe out. Let me breathe out is what I'm hearing. Yeah. So I wouldn't be too concerned with yeah. it. Um, 
I would allow yourself to to rest for a bit of time. And then if if like in in a couple of days, I want to say a week, if in a week, your energy doesn't kick back, start doing a bit of a juice cleanse or a um, detox yes. a bit of it, just you don't have to go crazy with it. But I do feel like um, yes. we are all a bit exhausted. There are a lot of really big planets moving right now. Um, I, th I was just watching this thing this morning. I'm I'm gonna um, do this um, so there's no background noise. And I apologize that I don't I don't remember the name of the planets, but I think there's it 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 hasn't happened since 1856. Um, these two planets are meeting together, and um, I, I apologize again that I don't remember the names of the planets, but I'm not an astrologer. So the last time they met, there was a peace treaty, the Paris peace treaty and something else. And if anybody on my YouTube knows what I'm talking about, uh, please feel free to, to put it in my YouTube and I'll be happy to comment on it. Uh, Jupiter and Neptune. That's it, Breezy Ray with Sabrina. Yes, Jupiter and Neptune. Thank you. They are meeting. And um, I think, and if you know this too, you can correct me or help me along. So it was the Paris Peace Treaty, which was a, a treaty with Russia. And, you know, I just want to say whatever your views are on what we think what we think is going on in the world. Remember, there, there are a few things I'm going to say that might be tri triggering for some people here. So here's your trigger warning. And they might be controversial to what you're seeing in the mainstream media. Um, first of all, Putin is very, <laughs> I already lost two people. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Um, Putin is very um, against any form of, um, and I, I have to be careful of the words I use here because certain words will get you like kicked off of certain stations. So he does not allow any inappropriate behavior with children or women. He is very in alignment with shutting all of that down. And Ukraine was number three in that. Top three in inappropriate behavior with children. And for those of you who can't see me right now, I'm like, hello. Um, second, um, he is a capitalist and we need to be capitalists. We need to be capitalists. We need to make money. We need to make sure our countries make money. And each country needs to protect their country. Hello? Hello. I feel like Adele right now. Hello. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go to the next caller before I get myself in more trouble. But okay, so last time this happened, there was a, a, a peace treaty with... Um, with uh, uh, the Paris Peace Treaty, and I believe it was Isaac Newton was born. I don't know, but it, it was a very quick thing, like just spouting off facts, and and those are the two that I happen to remember. We also have um, some eclipses coming in, and pre-eclipses, we get very, very exhausted. Remember, over the next <clears throat> month, to six weeks. And I, I know I say this a lot, especially around full moons, you might experience where a lot of truths are coming out. I feel like some of these truths, especially around the six week mark, are going to be more truths about what's going on in the world, not only in your personal life. I feel like we are going to find out a lot of things that have been falsely uh, perpetra perpetrated upon us, perpetrated to us, exhibited to us. We're going to find out like a lot of lies are going to come to 
the the surface. We're going to find out how, uh, let me put it this way. We're just going to find out how much government has been lying and how much um, mainstream media has been lying. So having said that, I'm going to go directly to the very next caller, 803. 803, hi, how are you today? Hey, how you doing? This is Chris from South Carolina. Hey, Chris, how can I help you today? Yeah, I just got a show. I was wondering, if it going to be good? Is it going to go good and then be as big as I think? And is everything going to work out? Well, I hear yes right away, Chris. The first thing I hear is yes. I feel like um, be the statement I hear is be true to thine own self. And I do hear that you need yeah. to, um, I, I don't know why they're showing me this, Chris. If this means something to you, please do share it with me. Um, they're showing me, do you know the guys in the rodeo who ride the bull? And like, so they're showing me a guy in the rodeo riding a bull with his like hand up. So like they hold the bull with one hand and their other hand is in the air and they're just, this guy is just riding like it's a piece of cake. So for whatever reason, either this is symbolic to you or that means you're going to be able to ride this bull all the way through. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, it's like I, I had a show back in 2006 that I got in a bad car accident and I'm just getting my show back now at a different, at a different venue. Okay. And I was wondering how they can come and the money going to be good and will they come to yeah. the show and it'll be successful. Yes, yes. And Chris, would you like to say what your show is so anybody listening um, can... It yeah, it's an open mic show in the town of Orangeburg. Sir. Okay. At Ted's North Road. It's supposed to be on Thursdays at 7. Excellent. I'm trying to get it this, this Thursday, but I'm not sure, you know. Yeah, you're going to. I feel like yeah, you're going to do my, good. It's called Best of Both World. It's called what? Best of Both World. Best of both worlds. Uh, Excellent. And singing and rapping too. So. I, see. I love it. I love it. Okay. So I feel like you're going to do very well. I feel like everything is going to move forward the way you want it to. The only thing they keep saying is be true to thine own self and everything will fall into place. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You are so. You are so welcome. I'm really grateful I was able to connect with you. I'm going to go to 312. 312, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, uh, good afternoon. My name is Craig and I'm calling from Chicago. Hey, Craig, how can I help you today? Okay, my question for today is I had an interview for a promotion about, I had two of them um, about a month ago. Uh, however, I have not heard anything back as far as next steps, and I want to know, do you see that next steps coming for me? Uh, I, I hear, yes, the next step is coming, but I also hear, um, I, okay, I hear, um, keep looking, I feel like there is another option coming in, even if you, even, um, I feel like, yes, the next step is coming, but keep the, the statement I'm hearing is keep it, keep it moving, keep it pushing, keep going forward. And whether that means with this particular um, company and or also other companies, they want you to keep applying to other companies because I feel like you're going to find something that is um, even better. The way they're describing it is this is the, the hors d'oeuvre and you're about to get the entree. So however that means for you, but, how, but also having said that, 
if they offer, take it and then keep moving if you feel like there's something better out there. But I do feel like you are going to be getting knowledge of a position that might be better than the one you're waiting on. And that might be why the time lapse, sometimes when there's like a lot of time in between, um, it's so that we can keep looking and uh, find the one that we are supposed to be with. I feel like a really good, um, I don't know why they're showing this all to me in meat. It's the weirdest thing. But I feel like a really good, um, like they're showing me platters and like big, like this big chunk of, they're saying it's a filet. <laughs> a filet is on it. A filet mi mignon is on it. So this big filet is about to land in your lap. So keep, keep looking because I feel like if you keep looking, you're going to have that come up for you. Okay, Chris? Okay, thank you. You are so welcome. And I, I'm I'm really grateful I was able to connect with you today. I'm gonna to go directly to 251. 251, how are you today? Hi, Tony. Hi. What's your name? Where Tony, you can you hear me? I can. What's your name? Where hey. You this is Laura in Alabama. I spoke with you about a year and a half ago when I was in California. How are you doing? Excellent. Excellent. So what's going on today? Yeah. Well, I was going to see if my father, Ruddy, has any advice for me. I've been working at this law firm for years, but it's just the wheels are about to come off. Long story, my boss is going to divorce. It's been kind of nutty around here. And I'm wondering, does my father think I should stay here for the next year and a half or if I should switch firms? I'm going to be retiring in a year and a half. Okay. So, you know, the only, what I'm hearing and for whatever this means to you, um, I feel like if there's a relocation, obviously you would switch firms. For right now, just for right now, I feel like you should stay. Don't do anything for six months. The The next six months are okay. going to be very telling and um, somewhat rewarding for you. You're going to learn a lot over the next six months where you are. Don't make any sudden moves. They will not be as beneficial okay. for you as you think they will. Now, I know when people are going through uh, situations like that, it can be very um, disturbing is one word they're using for everybody at, at the workplace. What I'm hearing is just um, be a, uh, like be a support system and then allow, allow things to proceed. I feel like, at the end of the six month mark, you are going to find relief or a reprieve, and you're gonna be very happy you did not jump ship. I feel like those who stick around will be rewarded. Thank you so much. This is the third divorce I've gone through with him. <laughs> okay, well, I really appreciate that. That makes me feel so much better. Thank you so much, Tony. I'll just, I'll just tough it out. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. And that's so funny. Thank the, you, the, the third divorce. You know what? Never say, never say die. Never give up. Just, you know, keep. <laughs> Keep, you know, I admire someone who can try again in love. And you know what? I feel like this is not his last marriage, not by a long shot. So, oh God, so I've given up on me. But with him, I'm a killer. I'm a killer if he marries another young girl. I'm going to have oh, to kill him. Okay. Lord, <laughs> Lord, right? Right. Well, thank God. you. Thank you so much for calling in. Thank I you. love chatting with you. Okay. You saved me. Thank you, John. You are so welcome. I'm going to go directly to 405. 405, how are you today? Hi. Hello, Tony? Yes, hi. Hi, this is Heather from Oklahoma. Hey, Heather, how are you? 
I'm okay. I was calling about the puppies again. I'm having problems getting rid of them, so I'm trying to see if there's anything that you can see that I can do to get rid of them quicker. <laughs> okay. Um, or should I just take them to a rescue? No, I don't feel like I feel that's... like really guilty about it. Yeah, I don't feel like a rescue is the right um, resource. Again, what kind of puppies are they again? They're Blue Healer Dachshund. A blue healer dachshund. Okay, so we're, we're going to do this again, folks. Anybody looking for a puppy, a blue healer dachshund? I'm not sure what that looks like, um, but... <laughs> they look like a blue healer, but they're tiny like a dachshund. Okay, perfect. So if you like little dogs and you um, are wanting one, Heather has puppies. How old are they now, Heather? They're 10 weeks. Oh, gosh. Oh, I love puppies, too. Um, so, listen, if you want a puppy, reach out to Heather. Um, can I give out your number on air, Heather, your phone number? Yeah. Yeah. Her, her phone number is 405-999-2784. And reach out to her, see what kind, um, if, if you feel like this is a good fit, I'm sure she'll be happy to send you some pictures of these babies. Um, I'm sure these babies are absolutely adorable. Um, and uh, Heather, I, now refresh everybody's memory. What is the, are you asking money for them? Is there a, um, are you asking to recoup medical costs? What, what's the, what's the, pr the pricing? Here? Um, I was asking a, a hundred dollar ring home and fee. It's right there, folks. Come on with the price of puppies today. That's amazing. That is just amazing. And where are you? And yeah. you're in Oklahoma. They got their first shots and they're dewormed. See, first shots and dewormed. And where are you located, Heather? Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City. And I'm going to tell you, one of my puppies, when I got her, she was in Arkansas. And there are um, companies that will drive it. And Oklahoma, for most people, it's not that far. So, Heather, um, what I'm going to say is I feel like around the 12-week mark, most of the puppies will be rehomed. Um and it will be a like a feel feel um, uplifting for you. I do feel like uh, one of the you might have to work with um, not a rescue but an agency for for one or two pup. If you cannot get them rehomed, any of the puppies rehomed, reach out to places that do therapy dogs for people like veterans coming back and such, and see if there's not a need there for the, for the for any of the puppies. Um, because sometimes when veterans come back and they have PTSD or they're um, handicap they can train these dogs to yeah. do amazing things also um even though they're small dogs they might be really good dogs to train for the police department because little dogs can get into crazy places and find things i'm just saying i am just saying <laughs> um they might not be the shepherds that can like be johnny on the spot attack dog um, but they can do some really good sniffing of some really like counterfeit money and um, paraphernalia stuff. I mean, they might. So reach out to those. That might be the agency we're talking about, too, is one of those two agencies might have a need for one or more of your your puppies for either. um Therapy dogs for veterans, or um, a, 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 I'm, I, I don't want to call it a sniffing dog, but a dog that can. 
<laughs> uh, sniffing dog. Yeah, my brain is on slow motion today, folks. I'm so sorry. My brain is on such slow motion today. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, sweetie. On that happy note, <laughs> I am gonna let you um let you um get get uh I'm gonna let you go and please see if there are agencies in okay. your area that might be interested. And I would even reach out to um not only local law enforcement but like the DEA because they train a lot of dogs too. I do I do have a strong feeling that at least one of the puppies is going to go to one of these agencies, okay, love? Okay, thank you. You are so so welcome. Thank you everybody. Have an amazing week until Wednesday. Take care.